don't want to declare premature victory here because I think people sometimes underestimate the tendency of other investors and what people think everybody else is going to do. So they kind of hop on this bandwagon and drive things up to the record. And I think you know if we take weight of what's the positives and what's the negatives, right now the positives are that earnings season has gone well so far. The Fed is dovish for now. We have a trade deal pending, but nothing's been executed. So the negatives there are that we really don't have certainties on any of that yet, and I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Carrie, does breaking through these highs uh, make you think that we could spark another uptrend for a while? Well, I, I think that's possible, Will. Uh, if you look at what the market did today, it was interesting. Across all market capitalizations, it was higher. And, and across essentially all sectors, it, it was higher. I think P&G held down the consumer group. But what we've seen over the last few weeks has been a broadening. It had excluded health care until today. The biotechs were particularly strong today, small cap again. And I think that's a good sign, which shows that investors are feeling more comfortable with the fact that earnings may be somewhat weak this quarter, but they're not as weak as expected. And it's giving assurance that earnings are going to progress through the rest of the year on revenues and on the bottom line. So it was it was very good news. This was a nice sign. And I think that having broken through, we now don't have to talk about hitting a new peak on the S&P. We've done it. Now let's move forward and look at what companies are going to say over the rest of earnings period, which we believe will be, again, somewhat more positive than people had expected going into this earnings season. I mean, if you're an investor sitting at home watching this market action, so the market's up 17% so far this year. It's been a tremendous comeback. What do you do? Do you stick around for the ride to see if it can continue, or do you book your profits after an already pretty positive year? I think in some well, places you can book your profits because what we needed for, for confirmation that the rally would continue was a catalyst, and the first catalyst that we're getting is that earnings season is so far a nice positive surprise. The year was expected to be back unloaded already, so we were expecting to see most of the GDP growth come at the last half of the year, most of the earnings growth come in the last half of the year. So if we're already above expectations at this point, I think it's a good sign that we're going to stay positive for the year. However, with stocks at this level and with bond yields at the level they're at, at that low level, there is some risk for retracement in stocks, and bonds can't really rally enough to offset some of the headline risk that we might see out of Europe and out of China as we move through the second quarter.